because they're small. It's a small group. It doesn't take as much energy. Legs take a lot of energy, right? You have a lot of energy and a little energy. So I put those together on Wednesday, okay? So on your shoulders, you, you sit on a ball like this, just moving laterally, okay? That's the side of the shoulder, right? Moving forward, that's the front of the shoulder, okay? And then um, maybe I should grab an elastic. Maybe I'll grab an elastic. Okay, so uh, a really nice exercise for the back of the shoulder, and I like to put this one with the hips, because you want to address your hips. You want to look at your body and think, okay, how do I work my hips? How do I work my hamstrings? How do I work my quads? Right? You want to look at all those areas. Inner thigh. And we will talk about inner thigh, okay? That's a really important target area. So, this one is, you stand on it. Now, the green is the easiest, okay? So we step. From side to side. Ooh. That's for your hips. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Done that before. It's a burner. Yeah. It's a burner. It's a burner. Have you done this one before? What about that? Yeah. You did that before? You did that before? Huh? How about this? You did this before? Huh? Yeah. This one? Stand on one leg? Huh? I think so. You did? One leg? <laughs> no, you didn't. I've done everything. Oh, no? okay. <laughs> She's advanced. Anyway, exactly. so. Anyway, that's a good one for your hips. Okay. Now, what if I didn't have the elastic? How can I do my hip? Just simply lay on your side and lift your leg. The weight of the leg. Yeah. Weight of the leg versus the hip. I used to do that with my roller skates on. Yeah. That's a real beginner, right? Now, how do you do inner thigh? Exactly. Yeah. So inner thigh, you could just lay and lift. As soon as I lift my leg, the inner thigh muscles working. Okay. So you know about that one. So now, hands together in the front, and you pull up like this. And that works your trapezius and your rear delt, or the back of your shoulder, posterior delt. So when we look at um, the shoulder, you yeah, got the front, the side, and the back. Tr please address all three parts. The back of your shoulder is what pulls you this way. So that one in, combi in combination with that erector spinae muscle is your posture. So you know how sometimes people end up with this type of posture? So the back of the shoulder, it's important to put, give that muscle attention so you have good posture. Okay. I have to Another know, one, wait, stand up for me. Where your weights, is it the same? Mm -hmm. Was yep. that yeah. where you mm -hmm. bent, arms like bent? This. Oh, yes. like, yes. oh, do the yes. chicken, chicken mm -hmm. wing thing. There you go. Okay. Now hold on to that. Just in the middle. Oh. Yeah. I just want to show you that you can actually put that around uh, anything and work oh. your, your de rear delts this way. Oh, I can't put it around the <laughs> Are you recording this? Good Lord. <laughs> you see that? I'm just okay. saying that if you pull like, in a reverse fly, mm -hmm. Pulling this oh, way. Yeah, a fly. Works. Yeah, okay. Reverse fly. Okay. Yeah, so. Do you want me to hold that? No. no oh, okay. okay. So I'm just you know giving you ideas on how to do the back of the shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. You can take weight and just lean over and simply do this for rear delts. You see a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. That's what I do in the physical therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Back really, of really, your shoulder? I had I had an accident on an airplane at work for this rotator cuff and this labrum three quarters of the way. Oh, I've had surgery on both the same therapy.